Okay, so this video is about logic to power. So taking an Arduino or any other type of microcontroller and controlling a 120 volt load, so a lamp or any other device you could think of. Uh, microcontrollers are pretty good at driving LEDs and other such devices, but they're not really great for driving motors or anything that requires a fair amount of current. So I'm going to show you how you can drive some high powered devices on this schematic here. So here's the schematic. It's fairly simple. Here's the logical side, which I'll go over first. So here's your microcontroller. It has three pins attached, one for the voltage, one for the digital output so you can control something, and then one for ground. So what you'll need is a 5 volt regulator with two capacitors to stabilize the voltage input and the voltage output. And you'll need a 12 volt source. So you come out from D1 here and take it to a 1k ohm resistor and then to the base of a NPN BJT transistor and from the emitter side you go straight to ground the same ground as the microcontroller and then on the collector side you want to attach the coil of your relay you also want to place a diode in inverse polarity here so it goes across the coil to suppress the voltage spike which occurs when the field collapses and then from the top of those two components you want to take that to your 12 volt source so that would be the logical side and on the power side it's very simple you just have your relay so you take your hot so the 120 volts to the power side of the relay and then you want to attach your load and from your load you want to go to neutral and this would be your normally open pin on your relay so when this circuit is activated this switch will shut and current will flow from hot to neutral through the load and back and forth as AC does so let's build alright so I programmed this microcontroller to flash this LED periodically and from that same pin I've attached a resistor which goes to the base of this transistor here and from the collector of that transistor it goes to the relay and this diode here and the rest of this is just the regulator capacitor and so on so nothing too complicated now I've encased the relay within an enclosure because of the 120 volts I didn't want that to be exposed and you certainly don't want to attach that to your breadboard so the relay is inside here this is the connection for the coil so the coil connects onto that. All right, let's see if it works. So instead of blinking an LED, you're blinking a 120 volt load. All right, well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions regarding my setup or the circuit itself, please let me know.